Yes. The Northeast coastline offers some of the most exciting striped bass fishing available. We join Lou Tabory on Rhode Island Sound in pursuit of these tough game fish. What I like about striped bass fishing, particularly right now, are, are the numbers of fish that we have around. The fish feed in a variety of water, from let's say shallow water, to the heavy cliff fishing, to beaches. So you really, it's a fish that gives you a variety of fishing situations. It's possible to take a 30 or 40 pound fish on fly, which you don't have the opportunity to do that with a lot of other fish. I prefer number 10s and 11s for this fishing. This particular rod is a four piece rod. It's set up with, it's a 10 weight with an 11 intermediate. That's the workhorse, that's the rod I, I would use for probably two thirds of my fishing. Here's another basic design that I developed. It's called a snake fly. It has a lot of activity. You'll see again, I prefer flies with action. I prefer flies that have a lot of movement. They don't always have to be lifelike, but if, they, if they're the right shape and right size and they, and they move, and white, chartreuse, and black are three colors that I use all the time, and I'm planning on starting out with white today. I think we're gonna do very well on white. If not, I'll go to chartreuse. We're gonna run around this reef and head over to the southern tip. There's Can some you? water for you. Why don't you lay one in here? Hate to pass up good yeah. water, you know it? Hang on. That I can reach without a problem. That is tough dancing. You're going for a good looking dancer, oh. though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you right on the edge. All right. Okay. In that, right in the puddle. Nice oh. shot. Nice shot. Let it drop right in that hole. This is great. I mean, I can't. You can't be any closer than this. <laughs> you can't be any closer. I mean. You can't get in better than that. Thank you. <laughs> no, really. I want to get one right in there if you we bet. can. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Just let it, let it swim. I got a hookup. I got a fish on. Nice. OK. I'm going to have to lean on him right away. I can't even clear the line. Keep backing up, Greg. That's the hole. Right in the honey hole. You said it. You want to fight him from back here? Yeah, slide around. Yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm going to fight him from the back. Fight him right up on top. Pull him out away okay. from that boulder. Yep. Ooh! A little better fish. You got to keep out of that structure. All right, Lou, I'm turning off to the right. We're going off to the right around the other side of the boulder, and we can land him there, all right? Okay. Keep turning him left, and I'm going to no, go. No, we're in good shape. Look, head out that way. Yep, that's where we're going. Keep him away from the big rock. All right, we're in open water, so whenever you're ready to bring him in. There you go. 16, 17 oh. pounds. Yeah, he's 16 pounds. 16. Nice. To take a fish out of water like that, that's just tremendous. That's exciting. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a nice fish. Get him back in the water so he's in good shape. That's great. Make sure he can swim. That's nice. Look at that. Lou, take that. Here, I'll get that for you so you can release him. Be gentle okay. with him. Got it. There he goes. Wow, beautiful. That's beautiful. nice. Fish. Nice, nice job. Good job, nice guy. Fish. 
Thank you. Hey, you you put welcome. me right into the session. That was super. That worked great. You, you put me right in there. <laughs>